Yeah, you already know, it's your boy Joe, back at it again, man, CodingFace.com. Listen, your boy's back, I didn't did it again. Listen, all right. Okay, so I know a few months ago, well, back in the beginning when I first started, I did create a video where I was talking about, oh, man, I don't like Elixir, I don't think that's needed, I don't think that it, it, it's really a language that you should learn. Well, I was wrong. And I'm happy to admit that. <laughs> so basically, after talking to one of my friends and he showed me a great reason and a great way that he uses Elixir, I decided, you know what? I'm going to buy a course from CodingPhase.com. Well, it's not really CodingPhase.com. It's Udemy.com. Um, I just happened to put in the link on there, right? So... He told me about it and how he uses it is for multiplayer games, right? So he has, I don't know if you guys have used a Slither IO. Slither the IO, right? So this is a super popular game that's out there where you come in, it's a web game. It started as a web game and then now it has actually become a game that a lot of people use through iPhone or you know Android whatever so it's a multiplayer game and it got thousands and thousands of people on it right so my friend was telling me that one of the best ways to use something like um, elixir is for situations like this where you need to have a whole bunch of users you know for concurrency and you know Whoa, web sockets. Well, sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to play this, but the whole point is doesn't matter, right? Okay, so what he was telling me is the way how he uses it is for his video games, right? So he creates games on HTML5, uh, he uses facer.io, and he uses Phoenix, Elixir Phoenix, as the back end for it. And I think the way how he uses it and he has thousands and thousands of users at the same time playing the same game and it doesn't crash is great for concurrency guys now this is something that is not used it's not let's not say it's not useful it's it's useful but not useful for everybody right it's for special situations special situations like let's say you have a, a, a chat room let's say you have something like uh, YouTube's live chats their their super chats or let's say twitch or like let's say something like Netflix where you have thousands of people watching uh, a video or a movie I think it will be great oh you know something like elixir right and it's pretty fast now what I did was I basically said okay I'm gonna give this a try and I actually bought you know the complete elixir Phoenix and bootcamp from you know your boy Stephen Grider I didn't even notice this one I didn't even notice that he already had created a course for this and you know me I buy all the courses that Stephen Grider got I've tried all of them I've done the react native I've done react and redux I've done the ES6 I've done the Mongo, I've done the, what's the other one, oh man, Meteor, I've done so many courses from him that pretty much I said, you know what, if he's messing with it, then it, it, it means something, it means that it's a, it's a legit language, it's a legit uh, framework and it's worth checking it out, right, so after I, I took my time to actually go through this whole course, I built a, a blog, I created a blog with tags, I created a blog with a chat room, and I realized it's not that bad. The syntax, I'm not a huge fan of, right? I'll be honest, I don't have to lie to you guys. I'm not a huge fan of the syntax, you know? But at the same time, for what it's for, and it's a great way to have an introduction to functional programming, I think this is the best course out there, right? A lot of people is going to be like, oh, man, um, you know, we still trying to learn PHP. We still trying to learn Node.js. That's fine, guys. 
You know, sometimes these videos that I release are not meant for everybody that's a beginner. It's also meant for people who are intermediate or a little bit more advanced, right? Because in reality, if you're a beginner, um, the Complete Elixir and Phoenix Bootcamp is great for somebody that's intermediate or somebody who understand what programming is at least right a lot of you guys are, are complete beginners y'all don't even know what a variable is right so that's why you have the the node.js bootcamp and you know you have other php courses that i have on my description but this right here this is something special this is something cool because like the other day i was actually feeling like stagnant i was feeling a little bored with web development and that's why i've been using a lot of crystal lang because it basically pushes me to become uh you know more of a critical thinker and creating something that nobody else has created right now with elixir since this functional program is not object oriented it's pretty much like starting from zero like yes i know what variables are i know what loops are but at the same time, there's so many concepts that are brand new to me with this uh, programming language and this framework that is actually exciting. It has me excited. I'm like, oh, shoot, cool. It's like, I'm a noob, right? I created that video, you know, a few months ago, where in reality, it was like pretty much hating on it. And the reason why I was hating on it, it was because, to my knowledge, there's not that many jobs for Elixir and Phoenix, right? Because it's one of those languages and one of those frameworks that it's only for a certain niche. You know, how many people, you know, how many websites need to have a thousand users connected at the same time in a multiplayer game? Or, you know, a thousand users in the same chat room? Not that many, right? So, for me, that's why I was like, oh, I don't know if this is worth studying it's not worth especially because sometimes you see things on the internet where everybody start jumping on the bandwagon they're like everybody jump on elixir i don't jump on nobody's you know bandwagon i i, I take my time i gotta find a, a a use case of like for me to actually use it for me to actually take my time and learn this thing because I, I have limited time right it's only 24 hours in a day and sometimes for me, I got to have 25, right? So why would you want to, you know, why would you want to learn this thing? Well, if you want to basically like push yourself, right? And you want to say, hey, I want to learn something new. I want to learn something edgy, right? Something cool, something that's very powerful. I would say, learn this course, man. I actually put it in on the channels. So if you come to the channels on codingface.com slash channels, it's there, Elixir. You click on it, I actually put in the link to it. And then from there, you're going to have the course. Now, this is like a semi-review, semi-personal opinion on it. To me, this is the best Elixir course. Because the last time I tried to learn Elixir, I was like, man... The person who was explaining it to me and teaching it online, I was like, man, this looks like shit. This looks horrible. The syntax is ugly. Um, there's really not that many jobs. I don't know what this is used for. Um, and that's it, right? But now, coming back months later and, you know, seeing how one of my friends uses it, I realized, I'm like, yo, this thing is very powerful. This thing is pretty cool. You know, plus it's the the fact that it's functional programming, which is a brand new uh, paradigm, is good and it's a good way to push myself to go to the next level, right? Sometimes you know, as a developer, one of the best things is that we always learning, always keep on learning, and we're like, you know, once we we feel stagnant or something, we gotta learn something else, cause if not, it gets boring. So for you guys that are looking to learn something new and you're looking to step it up this year or even for beginners you know if you're a beginner it's fine you could take this course it's not like you're not gonna learn anything you're gonna learn a lot of the web there's a lot of things in the web like web sockets you know things from ajax or uh, like 
freaking requests, you know, JSONs, you know, like a lot of stuff that a lot of courses don't go over and they don't explain to you why they're important and how do they work and HTTP protocols, like they don't explain those things, but Stephen Grider breaks it down. You know, he explains those things in an easy way, the money way, the, you know, the blue cheese way. So I would definitely advise anybody that wants to learn Elixir or wants to push themselves this year to, you know, take it to the next level. Because some of us, yeah, I really want to become engineers. See, I just don't want to become a developer, meaning just a web developer. A web developer is just some guy that comes in, does HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. That's all he can do. Now, for you guys, for the longevity of your career, you want to become an engineer, meaning you want to be able to pick up any language that's out there, any paradigm, any database, and be able to be dangerous with it. So there's a great introduction to that. So I will say, guys, check it out. It's going to be in the description. I'm going to put the link in the description to this course. It's going to bring you to this page. You know, the moment you click here, it's going to take you to the course. All right. Check it out. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later, man. Um, it's the complete course by uh, Stephen Grider, one of the best instructors on Udemy. Trust me, guys. He's the man. All right, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.